Welcome back. We're here with our friend and fashion contributor, Brandy Price. She's sharing some behind the scenes secrets to modify style for maybe some weight fluctuation or just whatever is going on. But first, it's Fashion Friday. What are you rocking, Brandy? Mm -hmm. GG Pip and some Darling, and I've got this little um, belt. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this little belt. I rem I don't remember the name of it okay. right now, but it was it's a Spanish maker. That this old thing. Yeah. This yeah. old thing. It. It's awesome. cute. It's well, you uh, always find a way to just make any outfit look different and cool, and that's what we yeah. love about you. So. I know last week you were on kind of talking about this topic and you got a lot of interest. A lot of interest on one specific point. I, I had a couple hundred messages on yeah. this one point and it was talking about modifying your style with weight fluctuation. Okay. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think really honestly the first thing that you need to know with weight fluctuation is where do you put on a little bit of weight and where do you yes. lose a little bit of weight first. Mm -hmm. So for some okay. people that's shoulders, for some people that's the tummy, and yeah. for some people that's the hips. It's usually one of those three sections, okay. right? So um, being able to identify which what where it comes on first, where it leaves first, yep. and then what you can do, have a couple of key pieces. So I'm going to go through a couple of key pieces yeah. for those particular things. Great. Okay? Yeah. Let's do it. Sure. Okay. Oh, so feeling your best. For, for some people, we gain a little bit of weight in our shoulders. So if you try a little bit of a boho top that has a little bit of extra room in the shoulders and you can tuck this in, the idea is that when you, when you put on a little bit of weight in one area, the other area is less. So you can still have a nice silhouette, that's something that feels stylish and something that feels clean. Okay. That way you're not just resorting to either A, black, or B, a moo. Got it. Right, because right. sure. people just go like, I, I'm feeling a little bit heavier, I'm just gonna look for the biggest tent in my wardrobe, but yeah. then they don't feel stylish and they don't feel confident. Yeah. Okay. So a little in the shoulders, you think a little bit of boho, boho top, you could either do a half tuck or a uh, full tuck with that. All right. um, also, so in the tummy area, right? Yeah. Some people put on first in the tummy. So you're gonna be accentuating your shoulders instead. This has a nice little, um, like a tiny little shoulder pad that's in there, but it's flowy a little bit, but still straight in the tummy. That yeah. gives you just a little bit of extra room. Looks really so you're gonna be, comfortable too. It's yeah. super comfortable. Yeah. So you're going to be looking for a piece that accentuates the shoulders and and takes yeah. um, a little bit of edge off of the tummy, if you will. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. The other area is hips, right? Yes. So if we if you gain in the hips first, the hips don't lie you, for me. Yep. The hips don't mm -hmm. lie. Then you just you go you go ahead and you get a, a, we have two styles here. One of them that has a extra room in the hips, but yeah. is flowy throughout. Okay. Okay. Nice. Because you might also, when you when you do gain in the hips, you might gain in the legs too. So okay. you need a little bit of extra yeah. room in, to maneuver there. And you can always put like a top with it that gives you a little bit of extra room in the tummy because usually when you gain in the hips first, your tummy is next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this style of pant is also nice. Um, it cinches in at the waist, so it keeps you in at the waist, but then it gives you uh, like mega room in the hips. Yeah. And no one would even know, and you can still feel stylish throughout the entire day um, if you're just you know modifying your purport, your portions a little bit in your body that's great and this yeah. is all the darling line too right this is all the darling line so this is available through me you can shop through Instagram with yeah. me but yeah, yeah, yeah I think the biggest message that I love that you share Brandy is just that this is a normal thing everybody goes through yeah it, and it's all about just feeling your best and it, so that's why I love the way you style people yeah everybody everybody deals with this so yes. I mean there's a reason why it's a behind the scenes trick because we use it in television we've used it in film yeah all the time absolutely it's great stuff. all the time well you can yeah. get all of Brandy's resources and wonderful fashion and styling tips at Brandy price image on Instagram give her a follow and uh, you won't be uh, displeased with that. She's yeah. wonderful and we love her. Yeah. Great tips. Yeah. Brandy, thank you so Absolutely. much. Thanks, thank Brandy. You. Appreciate it. Yeah. All her image, our Brandy Price image there on the screen and still to come, <laughs> as right here, as an all alum, Chris Catan is going to join us ahead of his stand up shows that he has at Helium Comedy Club this weekend. And we're going to hear a song from one of the talented young singers who's performing in the National Songbook Academy. But first, here's some fun that you can have tomorrow at Horseshoe Indianapolis. Check it out. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Oh, yeah. I think we're rolling, actually. So. Okay, maybe we should okay. talk. Big event here at Horseshoe Indianapolis tomorrow. We got racing Rachel McLaughlin to tell us all about boots and brews. Rachel, what's going on? This is one of my favorite events. The HBPA sponsors it, and they are an organization that helps people on the backside with like eye care and medical and, yeah. and everything. It's a really good um, organization, and they sponsor this, and we've got a lot of fun going on. It's a Saturday, obviously, tomorrow, and it starts at 5.30. So, some of our posts, and most of them were at 10.45. We talked about quarter horses at one time. Yeah. This is going to be a nighttime Ooh. thoroughbred racing, 
and a couple of quarters at the end. So you get a little bit of everything and it's at night. It's really fun. Fun. Okay, so thoroughbreds, they're the guys that run around the entire track. Correct? Yes, so they go around the entire track and then the quarter horses just run the length of the str well, sprint. The sprinters. The length of the strip. Okay. Yeah. How's the energy different here at the track in an evening as opposed to during the day? It is, it is a lot different. You can bring kids either way though. I want to make sure everybody knows. But the nighttime crowd is a lot, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people here and it's a different crowd too for mm. quarter horses. Like total different people come on quarter horse day than it does thoroughbred, but it's still both of them are a lot of fun. It's fun. Let's talk about maybe if someone's never been to horseshoe Indianapolis, maybe they've never even been to a horse race. What do you recommend? Just kind of getting used to the whole experience. Yeah, so uh, you definitely want to get a program and we have a contest counter on the first floor. It's free admission and free parking, so you don't have to worry about that, but you can get a program. And then we have free tip sheets for myself and Brian Aragoni, who okay. is our other handicapper. And then we also have Martha who uh, covers the quarter horse. She is the supreme uh, quarter horse master. So we uh, those are free. So you can get those and then make just a generic bet. Is that her official them. title, Supreme I Quarter Horse Master? I just made it master? up and now she she, is, she yes. needs that on her name I tag. need a name tag for that. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the handicapping? What is that? Yeah. So handicapping is like when I look at the program and I go through all of their past performances, the races that they've ran, I try to decide which one I think is the most likely winner or who you will make the most money off of. The handicapping is looking at the program, deciding what you want to bet, and then making the bet is a $2 win place show is oh, what okay. I tell people. Win is first, place is second, and show is third. That's great. Yeah, yeah. pretty easy. How much money's on the line for the jockeys? Yeah, you know what? I don't think we have a whole lot of stakes, but our purse okay. st structure is really good and they make a lot of money. Anything from an allowance is like 45,000. Wow. Yeah, all the way to, you know, you could go down to a claiming for 5,000, right? Okay. So it's all over the board. Fun. Yeah. What are the details people need to know for tomorrow? So you need to be here. It starts at 530. We're gonna have a mechanical bowl. We're gonna have a really fun Western blow up shooting game for the kids. I'm going to do, it's all free too. Everything's cool. free. And we do drawings for a casino swag giveaway as well. And that's free. Go to the contest counter to sign up. And then I'm gonna do the fun pony pong and the t-shirt tosses where people literally will fight for a free t-shirt. Pony pong sounds fun. Pony pong is really fun. It's a cup that has no beer in it and you throw the ping pong ball and Good if you times. get it in there, you get a prize. Yeah, so the kiddos can do it. And you mentioned you're quite a uh, quite a competitor on the mechanical bowl, right? I have been known when I am not pregnant to <laughs> crush the mechanical bowl really? and I do it for absolutely no reason other than that it's entertaining it's for people. I might challenge our track announcer and see who can be on the mechanical bull longer. Well, before we go, I just want to say awesome work on this uh, beautiful sculpture that you created as Thank well. You. I did this myself. I, I know impressive. you're more excited about the beer, Ryan. Let's <laughs> not lie to the people. I am, yeah, and you should be too. <laughs> Come on out tomorrow, 5.30, get here a little bit early. Parking's free too, right? It's free, it's parking's fantastic. free, admission's free, and you can go to our website to get the details, or you can follow us at HSNU Racing. Awesome, Rachel, thanks for hosting. As always, for now, there's more Indy Now coming up right after this. Cheers, friends.